Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is the 11th month update for Partners in Cream. This project was created by my friend Dalin from Outward Processing and Steph Lyons. Their channels will be linked down below, but this is also a fairly large group collab, so I will have a playlist to everybody that's been participating in this project. This was our first year doing this project and it has been so much fun, not only for me, but I know a lot of other people have really enjoyed this project so much. And I'm so happy to report that Steph and Dylan are bringing it back next year for another year. So if you feel like you missed out on this project, join us for next year. It is so much fun. Lovely group of project panners all working to pan their cream products. And I love that idea. I don't have any new empties today. I am so close on one item, but let me show you where I'm at with all of my products as of today. And um, we'll talk about predictions for next month. The first item I have is my e.l.f. Cream Concealer Quad. This is in the shade Dark, and I've been using it as a cream bronzer. And this is where I'm at now. I am pretty much only using this lighter shade at this point. I put a little bit of this deepest shade on the very top of my forehead, but that is it. It's really too dark for me at this point. So I am going to finish this off and then I'll worry about this once this is gone. I have a plan, I mentioned it last month, but I'll go over it again. So right now, this is the only one I'm really mainly working on. It's a good color for me right now. It's just kind of a olive bronzy shade that kind of contours my face. And I don't know if I could finish it off by next month. Maybe it'll be an empty, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep working on it. I am committed to finishing this product. So however long it takes is fine with me, but I am gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm going to start working on this one. Next, let's talk about my Physicians Formula Perfecting Concealer Duo in Green Light. Here it is right here. I'm only working on the green shade at this point. I have hit pan. I've kind of covered it up a little going back and forth with the product, but I'm still using this every single day. I put a little bit around my nose before applying foundation to correct the redness that kind of just happens to be there all the time. And I haven't been using this one, but I am going to at least try to mix that lightest shade with this deepest shade and see if I can get a more wearable bronzer out of it. So that is the plan, but I'm not even gonna worry about that until this one is gone. I think it's pretty clear that this green side is going to take a long, long time to finish. This product will 100% absolutely be rolling in to the project next year. I'm just gonna keep working on it every single day. I do find a need for this green color corrector or a very pigmented concealer around my nose, but that's really all I use it for, so it doesn't cover a lot of area every day, but I do use it every single day. All right, a product I haven't been using every single day is my Stila Magnificent Metals in Smoldering Satin. I do plan to use this tomorrow, but I haven't worn this at all in the past month. Next is my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlight in Lunch Money. I'm using this one every single day. Every once in a while, I forget to wear it, and it's like bizarre. When I realize I've forgotten to put it on and my the rest of my makeup's already done, I could put this on afterwards, but it's kind of like, what's the point? But yeah, every once in a while I forget it. But overall, I wear this every single day. I've even been wearing this as an eyeshadow base lately. So as I'm putting it on the regular places I put the highlight on, I also swipe a little bit onto my eyelids to just kind of prep them for eyeshadow. And it actually works really well as an eyeshadow base as well. I do not think I could finish this by next month, so this will be rolling over into the project for next year, but I love it. And I am looking forward to it being an empty in 2021 because I have a backup of this and I don't need to. So I'm ready to finish this one off and I just need to keep working on it. Okay, there's one more product that I've been working on and I thought it was gonna be an empty today but I didn't quite make it. That is this liquid shimmer lotion from Mana Kadar. 
I am down to just there. I think you could see the fill line right there. I was kind of hoping that maybe it would be an empty today, but I didn't make it. I'm guessing it's less than a week left of product. I mean, I use like three drops a day, forehead, cheek, cheek, and I mix it in with my foundation. So I'm thinking it'll be gone in about a week, but it's not quite an empty today, which is a bummer. It's too bad. I had been giving this some thought, but I decided to pull out the product that I would have rolled in in place of that item today and show you guys, because I actually might start working on this item um, alongside these other products anyways. And that is the Stila Convertible Color in Peony. I pulled this out for my dust collectors get ready with me last month and I loved it. It was the perfect winter neutral blush. It is just foolproof. I cannot over apply it and that's something that I've been missing. I'm using a Becca cream blush currently and although I love that cream blush, I have to be so careful that it almost takes the fun out of it because I'm so worried I'm going to over apply it. This one, is my perfect winter shade blush. It is just perfect. And I would like to enjoy it. So I will keep working on this Manicadar lotion, but the second this is gone, which is going to be before next update, I'm gonna start working on this one and allowing myself to work on this blush and have fun with it. And for now, I just wanna use it until like winter is over and just have it during the winter months when I'm at my pay list. But I really wanna enjoy this because I loved it so much during that Get Ready With Me that I've been wanting to wear it ever since filming that video. So I'm pulling this out. It means I'll be using my Becca cream blush less, but I just think the Becca cream blush is way too much for this time of year anyways. And it's in a project that ends in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna start enjoying this now. All right guys, that is it for this update, short and sweet. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do hope you consider subscribing, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one, bye.